Hello everyone, it's Percy number six. Hope quarantine's been going as well as it can, although it looks like we're starting to attempt to get back to normalcy, but we'll see if that actually works or not. But I've digressed. Let's talk about my channel, Percy number six. I want to address the elephant in the room first. I'm sure you're looking at the image I'm using for this video and wondering when did he get that made? So let's explain the story of that at now first, usually in an update setting like this like when I would do my season updates I'd use stock footage and that would be the game plan but because of Copa I don't want to do that I don't want to even use my old one where it'll be just using my Percy icon I've used since 2014 instead I thought you know I, I think I really need a secondary logo for instances like this because I felt if I did one of those the YouTube overlords would get mad if I didn't make them for kids but by doing this I mean what I don't get about the whole four kids thing is like, I'm talking here, but you know, I'm not showing anything related to children content, and I think it doesn't. I think even if I did, this wouldn't necessarily be like a four kids thing. I don't. I think a lot of the people watching this are probably 13 plus, which in YouTube's mind is not four kids. You gotta be young and under 13, but okay, I'm starting to digress. I think you understand the point though. That it's, it's a nice little secondary logo for instances like this. Uh, so let's talk about the channel. I've only uploaded once this year, it was my Gassetomy cover, and uh, that's kind of disappointing, I've only had one, and it's the end of May, but I'm not gonna lie, I've been so busy, uh, basically since Thanksgiving of last year, and uh, that's why my series, Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, One Railway Stories, I had three more episodes planned before the end of 2019, and I actually have them filmed, uh, but I didn't get them out, I just got so busy, uh, my internship basically the day after Thanksgiving till December 23rd, and I'm not exaggerating, I didn't have a day off. I was working 10 plus hours a day, I just didn't have the time, you know, 70 hour weeks, you don't get the extra time to upload YouTube videos, and unfortunately because of that reason, uh, I didn't get those last three episodes up. I still want to get them up, I still have them ready to go, I just can't really promise you anything beyond it at this point, because uh, even right now, like, I, I'm not... I'm not in the location enough to where I could film episodes of my series, so I'd like to get a couple done this summer, but I'm not even going to promise that. Uh, so, once I get those three episodes out, it'll kind of be like my series is on a, a temporary hiatus, but I still have three more to go out, so at least you'll see them. And since we're talking about series, I need to finally address this. Branch Line Chronicles, if you remember that, it's about five years ago I started it now, it was my other series. And I was originally going to end Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends Wooden Railway Stories and just work on that one. But ultimately what ended up happening, a lot of the ideas I would have used for Branch Line Chronicles, I kind of took over and started using in Tank or Tank Engine Studios. We'll get to that later, uh, into Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends Wooden Railway Stories. Uh, so it just didn't make sense to have that series going, especially the first two seasons. Uh, it's based on House of Cards, so it would have been very similar to what those seasons were. Season 3 is kind of where I would have really got to do my own things, and I was excited about that, but like I said, ultimately, I think it makes more sense to just take the... Because I was using a lot of the ideas, like stuff with Toby uh, would have been with Stanley, so it's like, why not just do it in Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends Wooden Railway Stories? I was already having fun with that. The series has been around for a while. Let's just focus on that instead of doing both series, and then basically doing what I'm doing now, but in like five years when I finally get to season three uh, so I think that made more sense and I hope you understand so only two episodes got out unfortunately before it got canceled uh, but I, I think I think it works out best for everyone involved if uh, I just focus on Thomas Tank Engine Friends Winter Rally Stories I think you guys would enjoy that more too uh, so my other videos I have I have two unboxing videos I want to upload and I'm pretty excited about them if you follow me on Twitter you probably know what these two items are uh, but the only downside is when those items, when I finally received those two items, I, uh, I, I lost my memory card on my camera, and in, like in a five minute span, I, I literally got both items. And I, I just wanted to open them so bad, I didn't go looking around for a memory card, I just used my cam, webcam from my computer. So they're probably going to be one of the lower quality videos you get from me, but... Uh, one of my favorite reactions I've done to opening up a new item. I think you guys will enjoy it. Also, the Q&A from last summer. I only got one part of that done, but I do have the next, I believe, just two parts up. I filmed them before I made all my videos for kids. Uh, so, at least uh, you'll be able to, at least I read them before that, right? So, so I didn't lose all those comments. So I'm excited about that. I think you guys will enjoy it. 
Uh, also, this video is not for kids, as you probably can tell in the comments, so please comment on it. I don't know how many of my videos in the future won't be for kids, so let's take advantage of the ones that are. And uh, please comment, I'd love to hear from you guys. Even if it's just a hello, how are you doing? I'll be like, good, good to hear from you guys. So please, please uh, tell me what you're thinking and what you're doing during this uh, strange time of the coronavirus. So those are the videos I have right now. So that's two parts of a Q&A, two unboxings, and three episodes of my series. Seven videos total. So those can carry on a couple months. I also have some TWRC championship plans. I'm sure you guys will be seeing sooner or later. Mr. MPS 2002 is the champion right now. So we'll see what he does in the future. Uh, so those are the videos I have made for you guys right now. Beyond that, I do want to say what my video plans are for the rest of this year. Uh, as you probably can start to tell, this will be my fourth year doing a special video for my anniversary, which is on September 20th. Let me tell you this, even if I get into a point in my life where I just don't have time for making videos regularly on YouTube anymore, uh, I, I will do my darndest to make sure I do a special anniversary review every year. I have so much fun doing it, whether it be a crossover like I did in year 9 and 11 with uh, Multi and uh, LNER Flying Scotsman respectively, or even if it's like my 10th anniversary where it's just a single review by myself. I enjoy doing those so much. They're some of my favorite videos to make, so you better be sure you'll be getting a special one this year too. I won't give too much details. I have started work on it, though. I think you guys will enjoy it. I, I really do. Every year, I try to top the one from before, and I can tell you right now, which it, it shocks me because each year I think I have topped it. I think I've topped it again this year. I'm so excited for you guys to see the final product. I, I think you guys are in for a big treat with that. So I know I'm building up. I don't like building something like that up so much. But, I mean, the fact I'm doing it probably tells you how excited I am for this. I assume this summer I'll probably start filming on it once I finalize the script. Uh, so I probably started it on about what I have the last couple years, about March. I kind of started work on it when I'm like, oh shoot, I'm kind of starting to fall behind. Better start this now, so I did. Uh, uh, yeah, so that that's going to be coming out this year. Uh, my next crossover is a 10th crossover. So I want to do something special for that. I have plans. I've already talked to the person I'd like to do a crossover with. We probably just need another talk or two to really finalize the script. But we got a rough idea of what's going to happen. So I'm excited for that too. Uh, so you have a crossover for my special 10th crossover. Plus an anniversary video that may or may not be a crossover too. So you're seeing one to two crossovers at least from me this year. Uh, so I'm excited about that. I know crossovers are a dying breed in this community. I'm probably one of the only people that does them nowadays. Uh, so it's I really enjoyed crossovers, you know, like four or five years ago when they became like this this thing just about everybody was doing. I really enjoyed doing those, whether it be watching other people do it or partaking in them. They're some of my favorite uh, videos in this community. And as this community continues to have less and less people upload, I do like to play my role in it. So I gotta say, I did, in one of my q and I think my last Q&A part, I, you know, I, I'll look this person up as I make the video, but uh, my, one of my friends, Crimson2091, pointed this guy out to me, which I'm thankful he did, uh, Thomas the Small Engine is this guy's name, and uh, he, he made a, a video on his return, and he was saying how he was inspired by my Q&A to make videos, so I think what that really really opened my eyes to is just the constant reminder even if I'm the only person doing it just the constant reminder that you can and you should make videos especially especially when you're you're barely allowed to leave the house as it is take advantage to make a video even if you've never done it before whether it be a remake I know those are very popular a lot of people enjoy remakes I personally don't but remakes I do watch a lot of remakes so it's an attractive thing to watch, whether it be a discussion, or a review, a crossover review, or even making your own series. There's probably other options you can come up with too, but please give it a try. I think that this community is severely lacking in uh, people uploading. It's not like it used to be, so contribute to that in a positive factor and start making it. Even if you're worried, oh, I'm not good enough, I I'm not a top train, <laughs> or, or something like that, you know. You can build an audience. Yeah, I still have a relatively small audience. I know I have over 2,000 subscribers, but that's pretty small in the grand scheme of things. Uh, so I'm just happy with where I'm at. 
and I think you guys can be too, so once again, I, I just, please try it, especially when you, you probably are less busy than you've ever been at this point in any given year of your life, so just take advantage of it. Try filmmaking. And on that, uh, the one last thing I do need to mention, my channels I'm involved with, uh, TTTE Community Radio. I have two shows on there, Blue Midwest Mysteries, Percy's Ever Present Past. Been a little bit since I've uploaded either of them, but they will be coming back. I have some people I want to do both with this summer, and uh, I think you'll like what we see. I, have an up I don't have any schedule to go right now, but once I do, I think you guys will really enjoy uh, <laughs> that. And if not, go back. I've made a lot of them over the years, especially uh, Percy's Ever Present Past. That's been around for quite some time. So go back and listen to them. There's some fun watches or I guess listen you can watch them though there's just not gonna be much on the screen and then uh, the other thing tank engine studios that is now officially back and we have announced we are going to do the second annual community awards I think you guys are really gonna like them uh, myself and the other five members of tank engine studios you have master of the lemons aka lemmy of multi green thunder you have row you have Lego lover 117 and of course train King James the five or six of us have a uh, come up with some really great ideas for how uh, the TWR Community Awards will go and uh, I imagine very soon you'll be hearing more information about that and I, I think you guys are going to play such a big big role in that uh, you guys I think will you'll really like it and I think it's a nice way to reward people for all their work they do in filmmaking in the Thomas Wooden Railway community. All that said, if there's something I didn't address fully or you have more questions, feel free to leave that in comments below. Or even if you just want to say a little hello, how are you doing? I'd love to hear that too. Uh, so you can leave that in the comments below. And uh, I guess since I'm doing a type of end of video, I'll do my self-promotion. You can follow me on Twitter at Percy number six. I, I do have the link in the description. I love tweeting. Uh, it, it's fun. I, I don't tweet like crazy, but, you know, every few days you can expect at least one tr tweet, and that's like a bare minimum. Uh, sometimes it feels like I'm tweeting every day. Oh, well, on that note, thank you guys for listening, and I'll talk with you later. This is Percy number six. Goodbye, and have a rest, a great rest of your day.